any substitute for victory? Yes. Are we going to have a signature victory tomorrow? Yes. Okay. The entire world's media is here. Why did they come to Prescott on the night before an historic election? Why are they here? Because tomorrow the future begins in Arizona. This is not a campaign, it's a movement. She has led a movement to rejuvenate the United States of America, starting in Arizona. It started here on 3 November, when Fox News called it, right? And it's going to end here tomorrow, with the election of Kerry Lake as governor. And Blake Masters of the United States Senate. And Abe Hamaday as the Attorney General. Think of the history we're here. Think of the giants on shoulders we stand. Think what's been accomplished in this city. And think what they have thought of what happened to this state and what happened to this country. As hard as they worked to make something of a desert and, and mountains and, and, and most hostile territory in the United States, wasn't even formed in the United States in the 20th century. Why? How hostile an environment it was. But it was the people, the people of Arizona. And that is what Carrie Lake, it is that grit, determination, stick to of this that she represents. This is not, this is not, this is not just, this is not just the New York Times and the Washington Post, right? And the Wall Street Journal. They're all here. BBC and NHK, German TV. Why, do, why are they here tonight in Prescott? Why are they not on any other campaign? You know why? Because of Kerry Lake and you. She had... $40 million dumped on her in the primary. She's had $30 million by outside money dumped on her in this general election. She's raised just a handful of money with no big donors. She is not beholden to anybody but Arizonans, the citizens of this state. And she's done it on the 524th day with grace and poise in class, in grit, right? Steely resolve. But here's the most fundamental difference. President Trump will tell you this, in 16, he had no earthly idea after he was elected how they would try to destroy him and his family personally, right? He, he did, they, they went after him destroying personally. This is the difference in Kerry Lake, Blake Masters, and Abe Hamaday and Fincham they understood what was going to come before them. She walked away from one of the top jobs in media in the country. To have them come here and try to destroy her? Her defining characteristic is not her empathy, not her class, not her poise, not her intelligence. It's her courage. What the men and women that built this territory understood. Because courage is what defined Arizona from the beginning. And that's what defines Kerry Lake, and that's what defines Kerry Lake's movement. Are you going to back down from anybody? No. Are you going to take this state back from its special interests and the radical Democrats? No. Are you going to lead the effort to take this country back and make America great again? Is there any substitute for victory? No. Are you going to turn everybody out tomorrow so we have a signature victory that sends a message not just to Phoenix, not just to Washington, D.C., but to Berlin, Beijing, Tokyo, London, and Paris? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the next governor of this state, Carrie Lake.